What's up, dudes and dudettes? All you awesome people. Harry Heaven here. Welcome to my vlog. It is Friday afternoon, and I've been working nights this week. So I'm off tonight. So I went to sleep this morning and woke up now in a bit of a rush, though, because I'm going on a date night with Fairy. We're going to the cinema. I'm going to go and see Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> well, I say we're going to see Blade Runner 2049. We're going to try and see Blade Runner 2049. Haven't actually bought tickets yet. We're going to head up to SeaWorld and see if we can buy these um, monthly passes, basically. It's just under £20 or £17.90, I believe it is. And you pay that monthly and you get to see as many films as possible. So we thought that sounds pretty good. Let's give that a go. So we're going to see if we can go up there, sign up for it, and then try and get into Blade Runner. Fingers crossed we will be able to. <laughs> Fairy is actually still at work, uh, but she's finished in a minute. So I'm going to jump on a bus and meet her halfway and meet up the city. And fingers crossed, like I say, we'll be able to see Blade Runner. I'm on the way to the bus stop and I just realised <laughs> I don't actually have any money on me. I don't get buses very often, not very often at all. So <laughs> I'm used to paying everything contactless. I'm pretty certain last time I got a bus with Fairy you have to have cash. So uh, I'm going to walk to the shop, get some money out and buy something small. So I've got some change. So, made it up to the city. Chose the wrong time to go to the city though, I tell you. Got to the bus stop, or got to the shop, and it, it was packed. Kids all come out of school around the corner. Kids all on the buses, got here, it was packed. Just say it went ferry now, uh, she'll be here in a minute, and then we'll uh, head to cinema. See ah, see ferry. Just gonna walk up and meet her now. And then I say, fingers crossed, we'll get our tickets. <laughs> Just stopped off outside Casper's. Uh, how far that sign is. It's a dessert place, but we don't do gluten free, unfortunately, for Ferry. It's a shame. So, it's up at the Theatre District, or 12th Street, as you can see, it's named. Obviously, trying to do it up and make it a bit posh there. In the far background, there's a screen, everything there is. It's because they built the hotel. Ah. New update, just in. The reason it's posh now is because they just built a hotel. So in the background there, that's the new Premier Inn Hotel. <laughs> I'm hoping they're going to paint it because see that what looks like brown, orangey. It's all rust. <laughs> it looks disgusting. Um, I don't want to stay there. Hopefully. To this day, I have still not tried a Five Guys. So anyway, let's try it. Let me know. Is it worth the price or not? It's not often I walk around in front of the escape, but it's not until you walk around it you realise just how tall the building actually is. And here we are in the escape. It's basically lots of restaurants and a few shops, like cycle shops and Frankie and Benny's, where me and Ferry went for our first date. Well, second actually, I think, technically. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Changers, got some, a lot of cycle shops in here, a lot of um, like, what they call skateboard shops and that. Man, it is dark in here though. I don't know if you can see me or not. Just have a little look around. And 
heading up the escalator. And I say, fingers crossed, we'll get a chance to uh, book these tickets. And here we are at City World. So, let's go book some tickets. Hopefully, I'll see this film. Blah. Let's go book some tickets. Hopefully, I see the film, and then I'll see you guys afterwards. And all finished. We managed to get tickets and get sorted and watch film. It was a pretty good film. <laughs> so, out of the cinema. Look, it's pitch black out here. It is quarter to eight in the evening. So, I'm going to walk up to the theatre district, see if there's any restaurants open, anything that does gluten free that Ferry can have. Uh, if not, I'll just go home and get takeaway. It's pretty late. Uh, we'll see. There we are, just finished an amazing meal in Zizi's Pizza Place. Had a wild boar pizza, so it's a warm special. It was delicious and an amazing dessert as well. I don't normally do desserts, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, now we're going to go head up home and catch a bus home. That's the uh, locked in a room. Looks quite interesting. Some sort of uh, like gaming puzzle things where you all get together and get locked in to puzzles to get out. Might give that a try at some point. Look at the massive bright lights we've got behind us. Massive billboard. Street. We are back in the escape. The bus is in for an hour, so we figured we'll come up here again and waste a bit of time, have a look at the film, see what's on, and head upstairs because there's some arcade machines, and I like arcade machines. So, back from the city. Date night went well. The film was good. Uh, I won't do a full review now because obviously this is my vlog, but it was good. Uh, I would say as good as the first one, it was really good that it seemed to flow so well in the first film with this film. I really enjoyed it. Thumbs up from me. Good storyline as well. I enjoyed it. But it's 11 o'clock and I'm pretty tired. I didn't get much sleep today. I was working nights last night. So I'm going to head to bed, see what I've filmed today, put together what I've got and uh, maybe read a book before I go to sleep. Uh, I'm probably going to end the vlog here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload. I upload a few times a month for my unboxing videos. And then I'll do my chitter chatter and occasional vlog here and there. For warm up to anything interesting. But, till next time guys. Take care. <laughs>